um, this is me standing on my Luna 2008 backstage and I'm sitting here with Blitzkid. So I'm going to ask him some questions for you. Hey guys, what's up? Did you have a great show here on the Maraluna? Just played. Yeah. Amazing crowd, amazing set. The sound was awesome. It was. It was great. Very, we had a good time. Very. It was. We love coming to Europe. These are the best shows we have as a band. You said it was pretty hard for you because you didn't sleep for a long time. All this, this flying here and stuff. Well, we've been here for a week, about a week, a little over a week now, actually. But when we got here, you know, there's always the jet lag factor. Oh, sorry. There's always the jet lag factor. You know, our bodies have to adjust to the time difference over here. And then, like last night, we were just, we weren't nervous. We were just so anxious and ready to play. We were so excited to play. Neither one of us slept. Like we were, like we were checking out of the hotel this morning. And I'm like, how'd you sleep? He's like, I didn't. He's like, what about you? I was like, I didn't. So, but yeah, I guess adrenaline helped out, and we we made it through. That's rock and roll, I guess. So, um, yeah. Go ahead. It's amazing, actually. So you were, were really, really nervous a little bit, but uh, like, it's, it's like a like a good nervous. Okay, we've been playing for like we've been a band now for 12 years, and um, going on 12 years. Yeah. Correct. 12 years in January. And it's like playing festivals like this. We it's it's not so much nervousness. Like we don't know what we're going to do or how we're going to react or how we're going to be. It's just you get a level of adrenaline where it consumes you, and you just go crazy, you know, like so. It's good though. I saw you, you uh, did an amazing bass work today. <laughs> the the Mera Luna result of... This is what happens when you let Goolsby play your bass. Yes. <laughs> Remember that. Actually, I like it because uh, you don't see these things anymore these days. I mean... That's the thing, is like, people see us sometimes and they think that we're uh, really, I don't know what the word would be in German, but pretentious. They think like, oh, we take ourselves so seriously because we wear makeup and we, we look like so serious. But in all reality, we're just a rock and roll band. We want to have fun. I mean, we didn't start out as a horror rock band, which is, I guess, what we are. Uh, we just started out as a rock band and we went this direction uh, just naturally. And we ended up here, but we still have all of our, you know, foundations that we started with breaking shit on stage, running around, having a good time. For me, it's not so much sounding great as long as I feel better after we play. And that's what it is for me. It's a true spirit. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. A lot of, a lot of people are, you know, they, 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 uh, that's funny because there's a whole stigma attached to horror punk. You have to look, you know, so creepy and so mean all the time. But I, especially me, I like, I'm smiling the whole time we're playing, you know. <laughs> and, you know, a lot of people have come up to me and, you know, TB, there's no smiling in horror punk, you know, <laughs> just as a joke. But it's, it's funny because, like, I don't I don't feel better, when, you know, when we're up there. I just, I, I, I can't look, I, you know, sometimes, yeah, sometimes looking mean, menacing, whatever, that's all good. But, you know, most of the time, if I'm having a good time, the crowd's into it, I'm smiling. I can't help it. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, when I when I look uh, look at you on stage, I think you you make an appearance like you were born to do that in a way. So that's I think a very beautiful thing if you, if you see a natural feeling of the band. So uh, what's up with your releases? You've you've been up in Germany here now for for a small 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 tour, and and what's happening then? Um, well, you want to take it away? We uh we have <laughs> due to due to our our old recordings not having the greatest sound quality or you know kind of bad production. Uh, Goolsby and I, we decided to re-record uh, 14 old songs and all and add the extra bells and whistles, all the production and good sound quality that we always wanted them to have. And that's coming out uh, sometime in October, we hope. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. Um, but uh, it's going to be called re re uh, re uh, Anatomy of Reanimation. There we go. Volume 1. <laughs> volume 1. We're, we're going to do two volumes. Yeah, we're doing two. And uh, then, you know, he's, he's also busy with Gorgeous Frankenstein. I'm also busy with the Automatons. We just, we're just always busy. <laughs> yeah. so. We have another release coming out after the Anatomy of Reanimation. We have a split with a band called the Crypt Keeper Five from Trenton, New Jersey. And um, we're Check going, them out if you haven't. Yeah, the Crypt Keeper Five. Uh, we're going to do a split vinyl with them. We're going to do five songs on one side. They do five songs. We're covering two of their songs out of those five and vice versa. Um, and we already have, I'd say, about 30 songs, ri original songs. So we've got two albums ready to go. So I'd say our next four years are covered with material. So um, they're going to be released in Germany too, right? Oh, absolutely, on Fiendforce yeah, Records. Definitely. So whatever, this festival, the, uh, the German audience, what, uh, take you, what, what will you take away with you to, to the States? What will you tell your, your parents? Well, how is it to play in front of a crowd like that? I live for this. Yeah. I live for this. Like, we flew here for this show and this show alone. The energy here amongst the crowd and the audience is uh, they're, they're unparalleled to anyone else, like in the States. You know, I, I, I like playing in the States, but it's totally different here. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You, it makes you feel like you're 
doing it. You know, the, the energy is reciprocated to you. So. so is there something that you want to say directly to our internet audience in MySpace, something what you have on your heart? Thanks for checking us out. If you were here today, many thank yous for going as yes. much as you guys did. Thank you, you guys so were much. Amazing. We love you guys. Germany's amazing. Europe is amazing. And you guys have accepted us with open arms, and we, we, we fucking appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you so thank much. You. Long live the horror. <laughs> thank you, Blitzkid. We are out.